So this is just a quick update on the results of the strike in the Bronx. They negotiated a $1.85 increase over the course of three years. The first year will be $0.70 cents an hour increase. The second year will be $0.50 cents an hour. And the third year will be $0.65 cents an hour increase. So technically, the workers didn't get what they wanted, which was a $1 an hour increase now. I did find it kind of strange how they were all celebrating. I'm no expert on how um, strikes work, but I was there on Friday night and they were suddenly just celebrating and claiming it was over. And that's when AOC came, gave a big speech. Everybody was patting themselves on the back. But then I asked one worker, I was like, so did they get the full dollar that they wanted? Or did y'all get the full dollar that you wanted? And he was like, his face got serious for a second. He was like, we don't actually know. So then I found out that they had to vote on it on Saturday. And I found this whole thing kind of weird. Why would they declare victory and then vote on it the next day when the workers don't even know the details? That sounds really shady and undemocratic. Wouldn't you have to tell the workers the agreement you came to, then with the information in hand, they would have to vote on whether they wanted to accept that or keep striking. It was very weird how um, they demobilized the strike first and claimed that it was victorious and all that and celebrated before actually like releasing the info. In a sense, it seems like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was not coming through to really encourage the strike, but rather to try to bring it to a quick end. That's at least how it seemed to me. She's supposed to be a leader, you know? My main criticism of AOC, Bernie, the squad, is their refusal to mobilize their own followers all the people that still see them in a good light, who they influence, they seem to be totally unwilling to mobilize their own followers. Instead, they might just swoop into organically existing struggles and try to ride the momentum and take credit. And that's what I think AOC did. She showed up on, I believe it was first the fifth day of the strike. So it was already going on before her, but she tried to jump in and take credit. The whole thing just seems shady.